Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to uh, add my welcome to yours to uh, Laura Daniel Davis, to uh, Camille uh, Tutin, and to Sarah uh, Brownin. The, uh, I want to welcome you to the Senate Energy and Natural Resource Committee, and it's nice to see senators from Connecticut who are here to do introductions as well. Well, congratulations to each of you on your nomination. Uh, Ms. Daniel Davis has a long history working at Interior. She previously served at Interior as Chief of Staff for Secretaries Ken Salazar and Sally Jewell and uh, in many other roles. Currently serves as the Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary of Interior for Lands and Mineral Management. Under Daniel Davis' supervision, Interior imposed an oil and gas leasing moratorium on federal lands. She has rescinded previously granted grazing permits. In March, she directed all Interior agencies handling energy and land management decisions to go through her office for approval. This action undermines energy projects on federal lands. It creates unnecessary bureaucracy and backlogs. It causes delays and uncertainty, and it causes significant costs and headaches. We need someone in this important role who understands and supports the need for U.S. energy security. It's all the more critical based on the actions that the House Democrats are taking on their $3.5 trillion rec reckless tax and spending blowout. The House Natural Resource Committee just passed legislation that will effectively kill oil, natural gas, coal, and hard rock, hard rock mineral production on federal lands and in federal waters. If enacted, it would surrender America's energy independence and make us dependent on OPEC, on Russia, and on China. It will cause thousands of U.S. jobs, devastate communities in New Mexico, Wyoming, Louisiana, Nevada, Colorado, and Montana. We need leadership at the Department of Interior that recognizes the importance to our international competitiveness of maintaining robust energy and mineral development on federal lands and waters. Ms. Tootin has been nominated to serve as Commissioner of Reclamation at the Bureau of Interior's Bureau of Reclamation. She has experience working at Interior on issues relating to the Bureau of Reclamation, including the Deputy Commissioner of the Bureau of Reclamation since January and as Deputy Assistant Secretary for Water and Science during the Obama administration. For much of her career, she served on congressional staffs, including the Democratic pro pro uh, professional staff for Senator Cantwell, who was ranking member of this committee at the time. In Wyoming and across the West, there is no more important resource than water. Our agriculture, industry, cities, forests, and wildlife all depend on strong and healthy watersheds. This committee needs a commissioner who will work with members of both parties to strengthen desperately needed Western water infrastructure, to improve Interior's management of water resources, and to listen to state and local officials. I think that she is up to the job. Lastly, Ms. Braun is, uh, has been nominated to serve as Chairman of the Advisory Council on Historic Preservation. If confirmed, she'll be in charge with uh, ensuring that historic preservation needs are balanced with federal project requirements. She will also make recommendations regarding historic preservation to the President, to Congress, and to the heads of other federal agencies. She currently serves as a professor of the City of City and Regional Planning at Cornell University's College of Architecture, Art, and Planning and a professor at Cornell Law School. She has experience in the historic preservation field, including serving as an advisor to the National Trust for Historic Preservation. I'm interested in hearing more about uh, her views on the role of this council in advising others on the designation, preservation, and rehabilitation of historic sites. So I look forward to hearing her explain her vision for the council. So congratulations to each of the nominees. I look forward to hearing more about your qualifications, your policy views, and your plans for ensuring the work of these agencies, how they will benefit all Americans, including those in my home state of Wyoming. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir.